Paris Saint-Germain aim to continue their winning streak and stay clear of the chasing pack when Hans came calling. Neymar earned four points extra for his side over the last two league games by scoring wonderful late winners at home to Strasbourg and then away to Lyon. In the absence of Cavani, Mbappe and Icardi, Neymar's role at OL was enhanced and the 27-year-old responded in style. Could he star once again in his attempt at rehabilitation after a controversial summer transfer saga? Well, five straight wins in all competitions since the shock at Rennes. Leonard Paredes showing the level of confidence early on, particularly after their 3-0 win over Real Madrid at Le Parc. Well, Neymar has amassed only 39 Liga Conferram appearances, yet 36 goals and 20 assists. Not unused to the outrageous. This effort, though, off target. And yet, Rance clearly hadn't read Le Parc's script. Marshal Menetzi crossing, and Hassan Kamara rose highest. A brilliant header past Kaylar Navas, and his first ever Liga and Conferama goal. With the Costa Rican beaten for the first time in PSG colours. With the injuries PSG have, teenager Mbe Soy playing right back, completely bamboozled. And Kamara giving Rance a shock capital lead. Angel Di Maria came on for the injured Eric Maxim Chopamoting to give Thomas Tuchel further injury headaches. The Argentine testing out from the wide area, although it was going wide. Well, Yunus Abdel Amid, captain for the day, in for Alexis Ramau, but should have done better on the stroke of half time, but neither found a teammate or the back of the net. Well, PSG were unbeaten in 22 home league and Conferama matches under Thomas Tuchel at kickoff. Although the waves to the Rance fans shows is the Champagne club walking off with a strut. Well, their last home league loss came against Rennes in May 2018. Neymar in place of the injured Mbappe looking to be an inspiration. But it was Di Maria that was doing most of the creative work. Frustration for Thiago Silva, the captain, rested in the stands. It could have been worse for the champions. And it's Aseos Donis trying his luck. Navas scrambling, but well wide. Well, the changes were wrong. And on came a man who would leave the biggest impact of the second half, Bulet Dia. As Marquinhos was sent on. A little bit more fire from PSG. Put the captain's armband back on. As Matteo Cafaro got away from the Brazilian. And Navas tipping away. Well, the heights for Tuchel came in that 3-0 win over PSG. And here they were hanging on against Rantz. Brilliant strike from Remy Odin. Calls for a penalty of Anders Herrera. Referee uninterested. It's just an inch away from a clinching second. Well, Di Maria was the main man against Real Madrid with a brace. He just couldn't get the better of Rance's number one. Well, PSG failing to score for the first time in 44 top flight matches. And it would get even worse. Brilliance from Dia. Well, certainly a day he won't forget. Sealing the win in stoppage time as he met Toma Fouquet's cross with a brilliant scissor kick effort. Pass Navas, who saw the effort clip off the post. Well, indeed, excluding a handful of defeats suffered after having already won the league. This PSG's first meaningful loss at the Parc des Princes in Ligue 1 since November 2012, a period of almost seven years. Despite it all, PSG remained top of the table, but only on goal difference after Angers away win at Toulouse. There wasn't enough time to fight back as Neymar launched the ball into the empty net. The Brazilians' magic over the past two matches failing to return. 
as PSG suffer a shock loss. It's time to pop the champagne for Rance.